so a couple weeks ago, I started preparing for fall. I went up in the attic, I got down my fall wreath, and I really thought I had more fall stuff than I did. And honestly, the stuff I have is pretty tired. I've been using it for a lot of years. So for the past couple weeks, I have been shopping. I've been to Hobby Lobby, Home Goods, Kirkland's, TJ Maxx, Tuesday morning. It is such a challenge to go try to find decor for your house without spending a fortune. So I did buy a bunch of new things. I have put nothing out. I was waiting until today and I'm hoping it all comes together. So let's just start playing around with what I bought. I'm gonna move some of my existing things around my house and see what we can come up with. So you all seen my dining room. I have ordered a brand new dining room chandelier. The chandelier that I ordered is long and skinny. It's like a, it's a, it's black, just like that. It's a farmhouse lantern, it's called, but it is super sleek, completely different look than what I have here, and I am so excited about it. But today, I just want to do something different on my table, and this greenery is so sad. Look how wilty it is. It's like, I've been hanging here for way too long, so I want something new there. And then, my front door. So I have these little decorative green things hanging on the front door, and it's fine. I enjoy it, but otherwise, my door is just bare and boring. I have decided to turn my daughter's old bedroom, Kindle, oh my gosh, into my, I don't know what you want to call it, my room, a girl's room, a studio, a thing, I'm not sure. But it gets great light the majority of the day in here. Such good light. I have this cute little bench, which is actually mine. I want to get a throw pillow or something to jazz that up. I'm going to leave that mirror there. I bought this floor length mirror. This is a piece of Kendall's bedroom furniture. I'm going to keep... Hey! I'm gonna keep it here for now, but I want to decorate the things. All of this is gonna go, Maxi! Shh! And then this is an old desk that I had in an old bedroom that I decided to bring in here. This chair is from our dining room table. It's gonna go, and I wanna find a cute desk chair. So, if I'm up here doing a workout, or if I'm up here filming a video, I have a desk and a lamp and things, and. Yes, that picture is not going to be there either. So basically, I'm starting from scratch with this room. It's a bare slate, and I've always loved it when I come up here. <laughs> but see, what's going to be so nice is there is a door. So if I want to come up here and film a video or do a workout, I can close the door and keep these crazy guys out of here. Oh my gosh, let's go shopping. So I have not even made it to my shopping destination and I've already bought three things. <laughs> I had to go to the UPS store to send something back to Amazon, and I drove by a local boutique, and I just, you know, I thought, I'm gonna stop in there, because they sell my very favorite laundry detergent, the Glamorous Wash Diva Scent, and I'm out. So I thought, well, I'll just go in there and get a bottle of that. And they had the absolute cutest throw pillows, all 20% off. They had so many cute ones, I could barely make up my mind, but, I bought two. I'll show you when I get home. I think they are going to be absolutely adorable in my new studio. But I am at a place called Montgomery Gardens in Paducah, Kentucky. So I've only been in Hobby Lobby a few minutes and I already have two pictures and a rug. I know when I love something because I have to instantly love it. If I look at something and think about it and mill it over, I know I don't love it. And I've learned to only buy what I love instantly. That way I can make it work in my home. If I go home with a bunch of stuff, I'm like, well, I don't know. Maybe I can make it work. I never like it anyway. So I just get what I love and I move on. So not too much luck at Home Goods. I bought one lamp, but I think it's gonna be a cute lamp to go on my desk upstairs. 
but they had no planters, no pots, no greenery. It was all Halloween. So now I'm gonna go in Kirkland. I normally have really good luck in Kirkland, so fingers crossed. See, this is what I'm talking about. Cute. Oh my gosh. Well, that's just adorable. So this is looking so much better already. All I did was put up my new fall wreath. I got a new table runner at Kirkland's and this is the wood tray that used to be on my kitchen island. I've got to get some things to kind of fancy that up, but I want to wait until tonight when Randy and I change out this chandelier so that I have a really good grasp of what this area is going to look like. At Kirkland's, I found this wood cutting board that has a gold handle. I love that. These are my salt and pepper shakers. We got to keep napkins here. And in Hobby Lobby, I found these sprigs and it's just a utensil crock pot, y'all. I think it freshened up our kitchen island and it looks really cute. So I found this adorable amber colored glass vase at Tuesday morning and it was on sale for $8. So I could not pass that up. Like that screams fall, right? And at Hobby Lobby, I just picked out sprigs that I like and came home with no plan, honestly. I'm hoping to kind of work things in now that I have all my pots and my sprigs. But they had this kind of like a fountain grass that had the orange and a little bit of yellow and the green. So I bought two sprigs of it and all the sprigs were on sale at Hobby Lobby. These were $5 a sprig. I got... I don't know what these are, just little green baby's breath looking things. I got two sprigs and they were each on sale for $6. And oh, I don't even know what this is, but I loved it the minute I saw it. It is a white-ish, has little berries on it and white leaves. I bought two sprigs and they were on sale for $6 each. And I already have some eucalyptus. That's what's in the dining room already. So I've got a couple of sprigs of it. I think these are called willow tails or something like that. This I've had in the attic forever. So I just got those down. So I'm gonna play around and see what I can come up with. So of course I wanna change out the little decorative thing on my front door. And this is just a wreath that I had up in the attic. I've had it a couple years and so I'm just going to do a very simple easy swap out and not spend the money for a new front door wreath since I bought the one for my dining room. Looks good. It looks like fall. I got something that I have been eyeing for months. Been researching, trying to figure out the best version and the best brand to get. You all have seen the scent diffusers that are all over Instagram, all over Facebook. I wanted one and I got the Era Diffuser. It just arrived today. I was waiting to put out my fall decor and uh, I'm gonna fit this into my dining room. I think this will be the best place for it. It is a diffuser that is perfectly safe for pets. A lot of diffusers put chemicals in the air that are bad for your pets, but Era is perfectly safe. I chose a scent called Palo Santo. I don't like feminine, floral. I don't like vanilla. I don't like fufu. I actually prefer masculine and woodsy and spicy scents. So Palo Santo arrived today along with my Aero Diffuser and I'm gonna get it set up in my dining room so that when you walk in the front door, my house smells lovely. So I've got my Aero set up right here for now, I think, because I want it to scent this big space.
Put that on your head. My headlamp. Your headlamp. Let me see. Let me see you from the side. Fancy, smancy. This is Randy's new favorite thing. Oh, you got it until for your ear? Oh. Mm -hmm. And then it's you can turn it on the front of your head. Whoa. Look at us, y'all. <laughs> well, now that my fall decorating is all finished, it took me a couple days, honestly. Plus, I went to that vintage market in Southern Illinois last weekend and bought so many adorable little things. Really? Really right now, you have to have a drink. Every time I start a video, one of the dogs thinks they need a drink at this moment. But let me show you my house now. I think it turned out adorable. And now that it's October, I'm gonna call it good for my fall decorations because in the blink of an eye, I will be putting out Christmas stuff. So, let me show you my adorable little house. I'm so pleased with it all. The kitchen island, and I added this little pumpkin right there. I love him, it makes me happy. I think this turned out beautiful. This is the new chandelier. I love it over the table. And then I added this runner that I got at Kirkland's with the rust color and a little bit of orange. Kind of jazzes up the table. I was tired of looking at khaki. And this is the, what, and this used to be in my kitchen, but I just took some gold balls from that original basket, added some acorns. Here's that vase that I found at Tuesday morning and added the cute little sprigs from Hobby Lobby. Nothing fancy, but that's fine. It's exactly what I wanted. Hello, Parlex. <laughs> and then my wreath. Oh, I'm loving the wreath. Look at these beautiful colors, the greens and the reds and the pine cones and the yellows and orange. I just love the way that it pulls the entire room together. And over here, I kept the original eucalyptus that was in there. I added those little, these little spriggy plants that I had in my attic. And now I think it looks really good. So I'm gonna leave it. There's my era diffuser absolutely am in love with this. Really? Guys, stop. The foyer area, I decided to not really change much. This little welcome sign I got at the Magpie Vintage Market. And these are my adorable little pumpkins that I've got at the market too. So this is my foyer. And this is my room upstairs. I still have a lot to do up here. It's not, it still needs some more finishing touches. These are the adorable pillows that I bought at a local boutique here called Montgomery Garden. I love the hello with the big tassels on the ends and the black stripes. So, so cute. Love them on the bench. Randy hung these pictures for me that I got at Hobby Lobby. I got this vase at Magpie Market Days. And these are the little sprigs that I got at Hobby Lobby. I got a new mirror and I decided to move it over here in the corner so that I had all the light coming in from this beautiful window. Right guys, hey! I love the thin gold frame on the edge of the mirror. I think there's how it stands. And it is going to be perfect for my videos. Then this is my little work nook. Got a cute little picture up there. A new lamp. I still do not have a desk chair. Still working on that one, y'all. And then I added this little cork board. This upstairs room is where I plan to film some Amazon fashion videos. I'm doing one next week, in fact. So the mirror is absolutely perfect in here. I love that you're going to be able to see the background. I know I still need some things on the walls, but the cork board is where I'm going to put the tags of the clothing items that I'm buying to help me remember what all needs to go in the video and how much it was and what size I wore and all that good stuff. And last but not least is my front door. Yes, you saw me put my wreath up. It's actually been up there a couple weeks now, but let me show you all my cutie patooties on my porch. My ornamental peppers that I got at Magpie Market Days. So, so cute. Look at these little babies. Several of my neighbors have actually stopped me and commented on my ornamental pepper plants. And my mail lady brought me a package today and she said, 
I love those plants. Where did you get those? I've always wanted those. I've never been able to find those here in Paducah. And I told her, got them in Marion, Illinois last weekend. But she said, oh my gosh, they're so cute. And I have to agree. It's not super fancy, but it will do. And like I said, we'll be getting out Christmas stuff here soon enough. But just putting out a little bit of fall decor makes me feel like my house has come to life again. It's a little bit of change, but it has a huge impact. So thanks for helping me decorate, guys. I'm so happy with the way that my fall decor turned out. I didn't spend a lot of money. I just made small changes here and there, moved things around, added some new sprigs. Yes, I did add a new chandelier. That was the biggest purchase and the era diffuser. But if you like any of the items that I'm showing you in the video, if they're linkable, they'll be in the description box below this video so that you can get them too. The chandelier came from Home Depot and the air diffuser, I ordered it online. But happy fall decorating for your house. See you later.